Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. I have such a fun set to build for you today. This is the Lego Friends Heart Lake Food Market and it's got all sorts of yummy things in it and great little produce and veggies and fruit. And there's also a little apartment at the top where one of the mini dolls lived. So let's open it up and we're gonna build it and we're gonna play with it and we shall have some fun. So it has got three bags, two books, and somewhere in here, yes, a little sheet of stickers. The set comes with two mini dolls. So the first one here is Mia. Here's Mia and she is all dressed for shopping, coming out to get some milk and some groceries. And she looks just the way we expect her to look. And she has got her grocery bag, her shopping bag. And here is her pussycat Felix, who does not actually fit in the shopping bag. Hop out of there, you're making everyone topple over. There we go, stand over there. And here we have got Maya, who runs the food market. And she is dressed beautifully in an, a long skirt there and she's got her sandals on. And Mia and Maya, oh, I'm gonna get that wrong a lot. You can count how many times I mix up Mia and Maya's name <laughs> in the whole build, because I'm sure it'll happen a lot. I hope not, anyway. Okay, <laughs> Mia and Maya are standing over there and Felix is on the other side. And we also have got a scooter. So of course we need a helmet. And I think I've got the, no, I still don't have the visor on correctly. Uh, upside down. There, there we are. And we might pop it onto Maya. Did I get that right? Maya, yes, onto Maya. And we also have to build the scooter. Now I'm not certain who the scooter belongs to. The scooter might belong to the food market for deliveries, or it might belong to Mia for getting to and from the food market. I don't know, but I cannot get this wheel on. Hmm, there we go. Actually, I have got that one on all right. <laughs> Let's try the other one. I find it really hard to stick these into the little rubber wheels because they're such a good fit and they've got that hard pokey bit out the side and I need to use the table to help me. I think that's right. No, it's still not on properly. There we go. Now it's on properly. And we also need the scooter stand so it can stand up when it's stopped. And we need a headlight, a nice bright yellow headlight and some handlebars. So now, nope, nobody can go for a ride yet because we still need to build the seat. There we are, and a little basket on the back. Perfect, now this is a nice spot for Felix to go for a ride or where we can keep the helmet when it's not being used or maybe the little food basket or we could fill it up with bananas, who knows? <laughs> or we could just put Maya's hair in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come back, both of you. Come back, hop off the scooter, Maya. Your hair's been delivered safely back to our build, which is good. We'll put it back on your head where it belongs. We'll move everything over, <laughs> including Felix, and we'll start the next piece. Now here we have got our first of our display caskets here, and this has got three bananas in it. Yes, they have three bananas and a sign with the price of all the fruit and vegetables and the flowers. Five for the flowers, three for the apples, four for the cherries and two for the carrots. So that gives away that we're gonna have cherries, apples, carrots. That's very exciting, and flowers. Now this part here is a little seat with a little pole and a backrest. And this, I think, might be the bus stop outside the food market. What do you think? It needs a little light on the top. There, or maybe it's just a seat. Maybe it's just a park bench that sits outside the food market to decorate everything. There we go. It's got its greenery and a pretty flower and both girls can sit on there, including Felix the cat. No, you really can't. There's not enough room. <laughs> okay, move over everybody. Bigger pieces coming in. Uh, hold on, no, that one's too big. This one, there we go. Okay, it is definitely time to start on the food market itself. We've done all the little pieces. First room we build in the food market is the most important room in the house, the bathroom with the toilet that Mia is trying out and a little toilet roll there. And some flowers out here on the green. Well, that's pretty. And we need to add another big piece. And there we go, it slots on here. We'll move Mia up because she's gonna just keep toppling off the toilet if we keep moving it around. Move over here right out of the way. Because we need to build up some of the walls here around the bathroom. 
and into the food market. So, so far we have got one nice big wool and a sink. That's good because Mia went to the toilet and did not wash her hands. She has washed them now. That's good. And we need to move her out of the way again. So up, up, up have gone the walls of the toilet and now we're building the walls for the food market with a wonderful big glass wall so that people can see in what is for sale in at the food market today. There's Mia, she's waving at you from behind the glass. She looks a little bit like she's in a prison, but she's not. I might let her out of there soon. We'll keep building a bit though. Here is the front door of the food market with a very pretty doorknob and an open sign swinging from it. So it is open and Maya has come out to welcome everybody in. There we are, a little white picket fence, that's pretty. And another glass wall on the other side, a big glass window. So that's brilliant, it's gonna let in so much light. A nice striped awning there and now we have got the food market sign which is very bright and colorful. There, that's very lovely. I love the ornate nature of that sign. It's really pretty. Okay. Oh, we've just knocked Maya, Maya, yes, Maya, Maya over. <laughs> and we still haven't let poor old Mia out of there yet. Let's put all these white pieces on the top, which means we're going to be putting another level on. Opening up bag number two, and we will let Mia out so that we can keep building with bag number two. Now, a set of stairs, which means, yes, we are going to go up. We have built most of the structure, not any of the decorations or the interesting parts of the bottom level, but most of the structure of the bottom level. So we're going to start on a little bit of the top level. And this is curious because it looks like a little fenced area. It is a little fenced area. We're going to have to wait to see where it belongs and what it does. So we have another awning over the big glass window in the front and some more fencing there. And Mia has just hopped back down the steps because we're going to start putting in some of the produce, some of the deliciousness that gets sold here at Maya's food market. So first up we have a nice big long breadstick in that tall barrel there. And now we have got another display case here, a display crate. And now we're gonna put Maya inside so she can check out how we go. Over here is a display stand for some flowers, I think. And in here, we've got two carrots, the biggest, most juicy carrots you have seen all day, and some flowers, some pretty, pretty flowers. This one's been beautifully decorated in a pink wrapping. And look how these ones are layered, that's very cool. So there's one there, we're knocking the carrots out. Carrots are all safe again. And another set of flowers, another bunch of flowers. Pfft, set of flowers, a bunch of flowers, a bouquet of flowers. There, that's the entryway. How does that look? That's very enticing. I would come into the food market if I saw all that delicious stuff outside. Uh, I've put the green bit on the wrong spot. There we go, it's better now. All fixed, that's the right place. Now this cool handy little gadget, of course you're gonna need this where you have fresh produce. It is the scale so that we can weigh all the fruit and veggies and see how much they weigh, so therefore how much they cost. So that carrot apparently costs 1.24 something or others. I don't know, we'll put it back out the front. <laughs> I might figure the scale out later. Might be a bit too technical for me. All right, some shelving. On this shelving is some delicious homemade strawberry jam on the first shelf. And on the second shelf, is some absolutely wonderful, magical, miraculous marmalade. Mm -mm -mm. Was that enough M's? <laughs> and there's the sign on the top, which lets you know that it is delicious jam here, homemade jam. Next shelf to build it has got all the milk on it and the juice, so this must be a cold area. There we are, the milk and the juice neatly stacked over here. And another crate and this crate gets put over here and we get a nice big slanty one too up there on a tilt we have a little crate too and now we get to put some of the produce in some delicious cherries 
some red ripe juicy apples and oh my favorite some pineapples they just they they're just so cute with their little green tops <laughs> they kind of look like normal lego figure heads <laughs> except weird all right um enough silliness let's move on and build the checkout here we have got the screen which you can go bip 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 on when the checkout girl in this case is Maya is checking out what you have bought and there's a $100 bill there ready to go ready to buy stuff with and we are up to bag number three let's go let's keep building so bag number three heads us up on to the second level this is the living apartment or the living area where Maya lives above her food market and there is a stove and a little teeny weeny sink everything is very miniature up here but beautifully put together inside the oven is a tray of cookies nice fresh cookies yeah, you keep an eye on them, Mia, Mia, yep, Mia. <laughs> Make sure they don't burn. There's a saucepan on the top, on the hot plate, and we get the number of the house here. It's number 74. See, if that's on the outside, doesn't that show you how very small this apartment's going to be? Here we have a glassed cabinet with a glass in it which has to lie down because it doesn't fit in there standing up. But that looks really slick. I like that. Alright, a door. A picturesque little door. There, it's tiny but really gorgeous. Let's keep going. Now this is weird, that's a little table. It seems to be sticking outside the door area. I wonder how this is going to go. Let's see. Let's keep building and see. And is this a bed? Let's try it out. Mia, is it comfy? It really does not look comfy. Doesn't look quite long enough to be a bed. Here, yeah, you stand up and we'll keep building around here. Oh, it's not a bed, it's a sofa. Well, that's much more sensible. Everybody's falling off. <laughs> that's much more sensible. It's a good size for a sofa. And a cup and a plate for the table. And I still haven't figured out how this apartment is working, but this might give me a clue. Here is a big wall with a climbing plant on the outside. And there we go. So the wall curves out and around. So this is the windowsill here. Oh, that's very clever. I really like that. And some flowers along the window edge. And here's our window. And our window actually gets some pink weather shutters here, which is something I haven't built onto any of the Lego Friends things yet. Have you seen any other set that has got weather shutters on the windows? They're very charming. They make it look very cozy from the inside and very safe from the outside. Look, but we will open it up so that we can get some air through. Keep it nice and fresh inside. There is a ladder to nowhere. Is this a clue that we might have yet another level up? I think it is. I'm gonna find out. Up we build. All right, the shutters are shut and we are heading up. We've got another little tiny weeny fancy bit here. That looks like a pillow. And this definitely looks like a bedspread. There is a little tiny bed up here. That's the right size for Maya. Maya, yes, Maya. Yep, yep, got that right, I think. And she's sitting up in her little loft bedroom. That is so cute. She can climb up the ladder and she can have a little sleep up there. And here is her roof. But it doesn't actually get closed over. That's as far up as we build. So we now need to put a little bit more furniture in here. We have a stool to sit at the table on. You see if that works. It does work. Mia looks very snug there. And a delicious cake with cherries on it to go onto the plate. Hop out of the way, Mia. You're stuck. There. <laughs> And one more thing, we need a laptop so that Maya can check all of her orders for her fresh produce every day. And this is really hard to get open again. There we go. And that can sit here on the seat. And that's it. This is a very Spartan little apartment above the food market. Let's put it on. But oh my goodness, it's cute. So you go up the stairs and you've got a little veranda area and you can stand at the front door there and knock on the door. And there's nobody home at the moment but everything is fully equipped and ready to be used. 
<laughs> Mia's coming inside anyway and going up and trying out the bed. Mia, this is not your house. Mia, wake up. Mia. <laughs> right. Hmm. So this is the entire build. There is the front all the way up with all of the little pieces that go are on the uh, on the sides as well. And Maya can turn around. She can wave at you from her balcony on the other side as well. That is great fun. Okay, here we go. Open for business. I can see Felix the cat and Mia has just arrived because she has run out of milk. She's giving Felix a big pat. Felix is here at the food market for some reason. I don't know how he got here before her, but he is sitting in the bananas where he probably shouldn't be. And mm, the flowers do smell lovely. In you go, in to get your milk and Felix is sitting on the flowers. I don't know how you do that. That's quite an acrobatic feat. <laughs> okay, so she said hello to Maya. Mia's in here with Maya, Mia Maya, and she's got her milk. Mia Maya milk. Oh goodness, I'm very lucky I'm getting this right. Checking out the delicious looking marmalades. Mm -mm -mm. And deciding that she might need more than just milk. She's going to need one of these pineapples because they are so fresh and they smell so sweet. Oh, and just a couple of cherries as well. So time to pay at the checkout. Very nice. She's going to have some beautiful fresh fruit with her milk. And Maya looks like she has invited Mia upstairs for a drink. And Felix is going to look after all, after all the groceries out here on the balcony. You guard those, Felix. Don't eat them. Mm -mm, some fresh cookies and something to drink. Maybe some freshly squeezed juice. What do you think? That would be perfect to drink. And now Mia is ready to be on her way, but I don't think she's going to fit all of this in the scooter. So she might have to leave the scooter here and she's going to wait for the bus. <laughs> she's going to take the bus home. And is Felix sitting on the top of that lamppost? I'm sure I just saw him on top of that lamppost. Oh dear. All right, Mia, you wait for the bus. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go. Please don't forget to subscribe, click like, check out some of my other silly videos, and I'm going to see you again for another one really, really soon.